This is the Bundu mask, and this is from the um, Sande Society, from the Mende peoples, M-E-N-D-E, -E, and uh, the location where this would be would, would be West African forests of Sierra Leone and Liberia. Uh, they generally date to about the 19th to 20th century CE, and they're made of wood, cloth and fiber and the top right image and the left image are the two that you need to know the bottom image that i have is um one of the masks of the mende people that i saw in the met so i kind of give you an idea of how uh, individualized they are uh, so this this is the only african mask that is designed to be worn by women um, it's made for women, but it's carved by men. So kind of the opposite of the other masks we have been talking about. The mask itself is a conical helmet that rests on top of a raffia costume. And it, it's like stands on, it doesn't cover the whole head of the person. It kind of is like, more like, I guess a hat. And then the raffia covers the woman's, I'm sorry, yeah, the woman's face so that um, it, it rests there, so it's a little bit different. Um, it is described by observers as a truly glamorous being. The mask joins the community together in experience of beauty and allure. Uh, it is carved in what the ideal woman should be, and so these masks idealize female beauty. Uh, there are some things that these individual masks have in common, and that includes generally a large forehead, small eyes, usually in the shape of just, you know, very small, uh, they're very small, almost slits, and uh, that's so that they um, don't see too much. They are tight-lipped mouth that symbolizes secrets not to reveal and to not gossip. And then they also have a small mouth and ears so they don't hear gossip. The eyes are also downcast and that also suggests that she's demure. The Mende people consider a beautiful neck to be one with rings. Those are a sign of beauty because they suggest wealth and high status. As well, the rings indicate the relationship with the divine. Um, the one that we're seeing on the left is supposed to represent the Sowo, S-O-W-O. And the Sowo itself is a deity from the waters. And the neck rings represent concentric waves, which are formed on, wa on still water by Sowo's head breaking through the surface. The spirit comes from the water, and what the human eye sees on the neck of the woman is human in form but divine in essence as portrayed in the mask. They also generally include elaborate hairstyles which symbolize wealth which were worn by women of status. The hairstyles of the Mende masks are quite varied. Some are very ornately decorated. Um, a thick head of hair was admired and they are designed into coiffures that indicate elegance, wealth, and femininity. The beautiful styles are very complicated and very neat to convey conscientious grooming and good behavior, while the adornments to the coiffure exhibit their individuality. The perfect style of Sobo's hair indicates her supernatural status and contrasts with the wildness of the raffia costume. A perfect coiffure connects the mask to the divine world. This is also a very important part of performance art. In the Sandy Society, it's a group of women who are preparing girls for womanhood and their role in society as wives, mothers, and community members. So they have costumed women wear a black gown that's made of raffia and hides the body. And at a girl's initiation, which is still practiced into the 20th century, a society member would appear in full costume as Sowo, the water spirit of the Sandy Society, and walks with the grace and elegance expected of the Mende woman. 
The costume woman wears a black gown of raffia fibers that conceals her body, and the mask, as I said before, rests over her head. Um, actually, I guess it does rest on her shoulders. I'm, I mistakenly said that wrong. This dark ma mask is supposed to exalt the fa far famed beauty of the Mende woman and represents the sculpted head of Sowo. After the ceremony of this performance art where the dance is done, girls are now considered women and are generally married off. So the mask rests on her head, coated with palm oil for a lustrous effect. The black color symbolizes water, coolness, and humanity. There are so many different types of these masks, so individuality is stressed. So you could see the difference even between the four in the picture on the top right versus the one on the left and the one on the bottom on the screen. Um, the meanings of the masks are complex. Some have argued that it can be related to a chrysalis of a certain African butterfly with the creases at the base of the mask representing the body segments, thus representing a young woman emerging into adulthood. Um, Another comparison continues that thought that just as a butterfly feeds on the toxic sap of the milkweed to make itself poisonous to predatory birds, so do the medicinal powers of the Sandy Society, which are believed to protect young women for, from danger. Their interpretation comes from the concentric waves that radiate outward as the initiate emerges from the river and takes her place as a member of the adult community. Okay, on the next slide, I have a video of what the dance looks like. So it is set to music and um, it shows all the different types of masks. So let me go ahead and start that. So you can see the different ones with the different adornments on the top, uh, the bells that are added to the costumes, and that's what raffia is. Notice that the dance, there's pretty much almost all women in the audience with a few young men watching as well. There's a man on the drums back there. But, I mean, women outnumber the men in this video. That shows the details that is on the mask. Notice the small mouth, notice the small ears. They're adding in some old photographs from past dancers there. So you can see the, how this mask is really integral to the performance art. So that is something that you really need to take note of. That the mask is to be worn as part of an elaborate dance ceremony that you have just seen. So that is the Bundu mask. And I just think this video is really cool, so I wanted to show you.